Similar to its Stingray and Z06 siblings, the Grand Sport receives a multitude of minor updates for 2018. The backup camera boasts higher resolution, the head-up display can be adjusted over a wider range, and there are a few new interior and exterior color combinations. Headlining the Grand Sport's transition into the new year is the limited production Carbon 65 edition package that's also available on the Z06. The Corvette reviewed here came so equipped, meaning it wore exclusive ceramic matrix grey paint, featured carbon 65 graphics on the fenders and doors, and had carbon fibre practically splattered all over it, including on the splitter, rocker panel blades, spoiler, side mirrors, hood insert, rear fender ducts, wheel caps, and about half of the steering wheel rim. These carbon fibre items are all optional on regular Grand Sports as are the packages included competition sport seats. The net effect is eye-catching, our Carbon 65 coupe attracted endless attention. The interior's blue stitching, including quilting for the removable carbon fiber roof panels micro suede upholstered headliner, additional black micro suede accents, and carbon fiber trim noticeably classed up the Corvette's cabin. Whether that's worth the package's $15,000 cost, and this specific Carbon 65's $99,230 sticker, is up to you. Outside of pricey option packages like the Carbon 65 gear, Corvettes, and more specifically Z07 equipped Grand Sports and Z06S, most definitely are performance bargains, with heroic capabilities including greater than 1.10 grams of cornering grip on our skid pad sub-140 foot braking distances from 70 miles per hour, and excellent high-speed stability. Even the base V8 pushes out 460 horsepower with the Grand Sport's standard sport exhaust, an option on base Stingrays, punting the thing to 60 miles per hour in just 3.9 seconds, quicker than the Stingray, thanks to its tire's extra grip. Opt for the Z07 package for even more insane track performance. Its performance you can enjoy, too, thanks to the clear feedback from the steering and chassis as you near the grip limits at either end of the car. We have zero complaints about the way the Grand Sport looks, sounds, or drives. And when you want to relax and just cruise, the VET serves up a comfortable ride in its tour driving mode. Cycling through the Sport and Track modes transitions the ride to firm and then to rock hard. It's even capable of nearly 30 miles per gallon on the highway, thanks to the manual transmission's ultra-tall 7th gear and the V8S cylinder deactivation feature that can shut down four cylinders to save fuel. The available automatic transmission's eight forward speeds aid the cause of efficiency with their wider ratio spread, and its quick shifting helps get the VET up to speed even more quickly. A few other warnings. We recommend trying the narrow competition seats on for size before buying. And for all the Corvette's external size, particularly its width, its interior is cramped, particularly in width. Oh, and you probably will bang your knee on the sharp corner of the dashboard while getting into and out of the ultra-low driver's seat, because it juts out into the space between the steering wheel and the seat. Approach the Grand Sport like the affordable track-capable car it is, and these flaws fade into the background, treat it like any other $65,000 car, and they're less forgivable. <laughs>